Somatic Data Loss Prevention is one of the best security products in the world for discovering and protecting sensitive data across your estate, whether it's in motion or at rest. Numerous customers use Somatic Data Loss Prevention within their estate to protect sensitive data. However, more and more are asking for advanced functionality from the Smatnik endpoint agent. For example, customers are requesting uh, actions such as in motion reduction or in motion protection, where we stop a sensitive file being moved, we then protect it with the protection algorithm, and then we move the file to the original destination location, all without the end user knowing. These additional features allow you to keep a very strict DLP policy regimen without negatively impacting your end user's experience. There are three different ways we've achieved this for our customers. The first example would be a basic network share copy. An end user just moving a sensitive file from their computer to a network share. In this scenario, DLP would block this file as it's been identified as a sensitive file. Once the file is blocked, our custom response rule then triggers. This then gets instant data such as the source, the file name and the policy that also triggered the, the action. We then based on that policy information, redact sensitive keywords, for example, from the file. So we rename it, underscore redacted, for example. We then move the file, the redacted file, to the original destination location. This all happens behind the scenes without any interaction from the end user apart from the original move action. So the second solution is blocking and protecting the web uploads. So a user has instigated a file upload, uh, but the file has been blocked because it has sensitive data. Our custom response rule is then triggered. We get information about the file from the incident, such as its file name, the website it was trying to be uploaded to, and again, policy information. A pop-up then appears on the user screen, asking them whether they want to actually redact the file or cancel the request, and if they want to redact the original file or create a copy. Once they've selected the choice, the file is then redacted, and the original website is reopened in a new browser. The advantage of this is that it allows the end user to quickly upload the redacted file to the website, saving time and ensuring that your sensitive data is protected. The final scenario is where we integrate Semantic DLP with Microsoft's write management systems. In this scenario, a user is trying to move a file to an external device. Semantic DLP blocks the action and our response rule triggers. Collecting information on the file such as its file name, location, destination and certain metadata on the file. We then collate this, send this back to the RMS system, which identifies the right security template and pushes it down to the file on the end user's machine. This all happens without the user's knowledge or interaction in the background, and the security template that's applied ensures that only valid users are able to access and open that file. There are many people in the world who are developing bespoke solutions for the customers like this. These are just three examples that we've created for our clients that enable them to increase their security and improve their end user experience.